I'm going to say something. I know off the bat, it's going to get a lot of women mad. And you know what? I really don't care, bro. Because I feel like on behalf of men, men don't, men do not be wanting to say this, but I feel like this needs to be said, bro. I feel like there's an epidemic of insecurity when it comes to like women, like especially, uh, 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 especially attributing to their bodies, bro. And you think I'm, and if you, before you come in here and talk about, I'm trying to police women's bodies, I'm not policing them. I'm just criticizing some of the decisions that y'all be making. Everybody is open to criticism. And you're, you're, you're not perfect. You sometimes, you're not, you're not perfect. You're open to criticism. Just like you would, you would rush to criticize me. I'm going to tell y'all something. I'm going to, I'm going to ask y'all a simple question. Why can't y'all accept the body that you were born with? <clears throat> that That's the simplest question in the world. Why can't a lot of y'all accept the body that you were naturally born with? I, bro, I feel like the reason is it's the media, bro. It's really the media. The media depicted that you, you, you've seen you've seen the video vixens back in the early two thousands and the early two thousands. Like they these were naturally skinny women. They were like they were skinny. They might have had they might have had a little bit of boobs. They might have had a nice little nice little tight butt, little, little skinny body. But now, ever since twenty tens rolled around. You got all the video vixens now. They just abnormally large breasts, waist. Then the booty is like that. Booty don't even match their thighs. It just you just it just and then you see you seen where like they get that that gap. It's like a really weird gap in between their thighs, like the top of their thighs. It's like some where the gap is like this long. You you know exactly what I'm talking about. Y'all men know exactly what I'm talking about when you be seeing it on them girls. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Like stomach all scarred up from the fat transfer, bro. You see what I'm talking about, man. You see it. Y'all be so quick to talk about men bodies all day. Bro, I'm going to tell y'all. A lot of y'all live through social media, bro. A lot of y'all women live through social media. Your whole personality is determined on a character that you saw on social media or a celebrity character. That somebody else is playing on social media. Like you seen real high you you seen how real housewives of Atlanta, you try to adopt that ghetto ratchet attitude in real life. You try to apply that to real life. You seen love and hip hop, you try to apply that to real life. You seen the attitude where you seen the sweetie sweetie talking about, oh, if he can't buy you a Birkin bag, he don't Meanwhile, you're still living with your mother. Meanwhile, you don't even have a car. But yet you want to do to buy you a Birkin bag. You see what I'm saying? They understand that y'all be living through social media. Y'all will emulate what's popping on social media. Like y'all, they, they, the people who control this understand that. They can literally just set the beauty standard right there. The media set beauty standard. Women set beauty standards. They choose the popular women to set a beauty standard. And then all the other women follow them. They follow it. Oh, I gotta look like her. I gotta look like her. Oh, if I if I just look like her, I'll be I'll be more confident in myself. Knowing deep down you're not confident in yourself. You were not confident before the bro. Like y'all be trying to justify, oh, I got the BBL because I did it for me. No, you did not. You didn't do it for you. You did it so you can look like the prototypical female. You did it just so you can get more attention from dudes. You know a bigger butt grabs attention from dudes. You know that, and I know that. You, like, stop acting like you're doing it for you. You're doing it because you saw somebody else doing it. You don't, y'all don't be, a lot of y'all don't be thinking for yourselves. It's, oh, I see the next popular female rapper do it. I'm going to do it. I see a personality that I see on a certain show. I'm going to adopt that personality for myself. And that's what it is, man. Do y'all not realize the epidemic? You saw the epidemic where it was like, Girls was <clears throat> girls was coming off the plane from Atlanta in the in the wheelchairs because they all got surgery. They all got the BBL surgery. All of them. It's literally monkey see, monkey do. They don't do it for them. They, you 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 telling me all them women did it for themselves? You telling me all them women that got off the plane in the wheelchairs because they couldn't walk because they recently got butt surgery? You tell me they did it for themselves? Or they did it because they saw the next woman do it. 
And say, oh, look at her. She looks nice. I want a butt like that. I want a body like that. Boom. I want to go to the doctor. But wait, what if I can't afford to go to Dr. Miami? You know what? I'm going to just go to some freaking shack in the woods. I'm going to just go to some somebody, somebody garage. And then I'm going to get somebody to put some, fix a fight in my butt. Fix a fight in my butt. Or I'm going to get him to put some concrete in my butt, right? So I can look like I got the bigger butt, but the butt is hard as the butt is hard as a rock. And then you understand, then you don't realize that you get sick from that. You get sick because the body naturally repels foreign substances. Because the body, the body's trying to eject all that fake stuff in your butt. Let's be for real, man. Yo, they, they don't they don't tell y'all. They don't be telling women about this side though, or the BBLs and all the surgeries and stuff. They don't tell them about that. They, y'all, be, they be getting sick. They be getting sick. They be getting infected. Women dying, having legs amputated because of it. They don't tell you all the times where them big celebrity women that were known for having the huge, humongous butts had to go back and get stuff taken out. You remember Kate Michelle? You remember how big her butt was before? Before, now they, now she had to reduce it. Same thing with Nicki Minaj. She had to reduce it. Like you cannot look at you cannot look at all the famous women that they put on on the screen and not see that they've had work done. You can't see that. You've seen them with a bikini on. They don't even look. The body shape is not natural. It's not. It's not even just because Christian. The, the, they started it out. They, they did it with black women, and then every woman followed after that. Because remember, it used to be a thing where white women didn't want to have big butts. But now it's the... You, come on now. Now everybody's trying to adopt that 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 perfect hourglass figure. The, just, the, the huge boobs, the really, really tiny waist, and the huge butt with the big thighs. Like, you feel what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? Why, why, what, what is the problem with accepting what you, who you are? What is the problem of being who you are, accepting who you are? I did it for me. You might have, man, I smell the cap. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Man, I would not go around parading I got that I got stuff done in my body. I'm not going to parade that. That's some private stuff. You feel what I'm saying? Why? Why I ain't talk, if if you don't feel that if you don't feel that good about your body, you can't just go to the gym. You can't go to the gym. That's too much work to go to the gym and maybe do some squats to tone your butt to get that natural get some natural get some natural muscle back there or something. Or you want to do some want to tone your arms or you want to just hey I mean I don't know what to do about your boobs but I'm just saying like it's like. It's an epidemic of not being comfortable with who you are, with just supreme insecurity, telling yourself, looking in the mirror and apparently telling yourself that you're ugly every day because you don't look like somebody else who's who's a more, who's famous. You don't have that same dream-like figure of some girl that you've seen on social media. I already know it's going to be women talking about you don't need a policeman. I'm not policing nobody body. Y'all doing it to yourselves. I'm not telling you to do nothing. I'm just I'm just commenting on what I'm seeing. That's all. That's all I'm doing is I'm just commenting on what I'm seeing. Why is it that women don't want to accept who they are, bro? Why is it? Why do, why do women want to live a fantasy? Through, like, oh, I have to get that figure. Oh, I have this figure. I've done fine with it my entire life. I see that men still are attracted to me. Or men still are attracted to me with this figure. But nah, I got to go... I got to go all overboard. You see what I'm saying? Hmm. I'm going to get a bunch of mad women, but it is what it is, man. I'm going to tell you what it is. It's, it's, why can't you accept who you are? Why? What is the problem with accepting who you are? Like, as a man, if you're a short dude, hey, you're 5'9", you're 5'10". You got to accept that. You feel what I'm saying? You're short. Okay, you might not be athletic. You might you might not have made it to the league. You know what? I, I, when, I, when I realized that I wasn't going to be in the NBA, I accepted that. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm like, dang, I'm 6'4". I should be in the league. But nah, I accepted that. Bro, if you don't like your body, make the changes. Make the natural changes. The gym. Your diet. Like, bro, the, the, the slow down on the alcohol, bro. Like, what are you talking about? It's not that hard. Like, I got to go get the BBL. And then all of a sudden, you, got, you know, you have to keep getting checkups for that. You have to keep getting checkups every so couple, three months. Then if it gets infected, they got to drain the fluid out of your, they got to drain the fluid out of your booty cheek. And I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that don't feel good. Like you had to keep getting it checked on every so often to make sure nothing happens to it. Even the natural ones. Even the ones, even, even the, even the ones done by doctors and stuff. You got to still get it checked on. You feel what I'm saying? All that, all that, just to, you, you go, you, you gonna risk life and limb to present some type of image to, to make you feel like you, 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 you one of them girls. You want to be like every other girl. You want to be the same. No individuality. You want to be just like every other girl. You want to, you want to have the same figure as every other girl. You want to have, you want to look the same. Like, I'll tell you all, look, look at all the, all, look at all the IG models. They all have the same figure. All of them have the same figure. They all look the exact same, just different races. It's all different. It's the same, just different figure. Just abnormally large boobs, really like just a freaking thir thirteen inch waist, and then the booty is just freaking like ninety seven inches. Like, woo! like it don't even look natural. Like, how do you sit down and use the bathroom? You don't think about that. You just it's attention. It's an attention grabber. You you love valid you love the attention and the validation you get from people looking at your abnormally large butt. But it is what it is. If you feel confident in what you're doing, cool. But I'm just saying, like, love brace who you are. Love who you, be confident in your body. Love who you are, bro. You know what I'm saying? Stop trying to. I, I don't feel like it's necessary to try to do all these different things to try to fit fit your. Try to adhere to your self-confidence when it's, bro. It seems like, like the media don't even want you to be happy with your natural body. They think it's something wrong with your natural body. They feel like if you don't wear makeup, something's wrong with you. If you don't, if you don't wear, if you don't have wigs at your house, something is wrong with you. If you don't have that hourglass figure, something is wrong with you. If you don't have that perfectly, that perfectly step, perfect skin. You feel what I'm saying? That perfect, the perfect little hip to thigh ratio, whatever, whatever it is. I'm just saying, bro. I feel like women should accept their natural bodies, bro. But I mean, if you want to get, if you want to get surgery, bro, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm saying, I, hey, I, I'm not, the, I'm not the surgery police. You do what you want to do, but then the consequences are there. That's all I'm saying. Risking your life for a look. That is really no different from any any other woman is beyond me. But it is what it is, though. What do I know? I'm, I'm a man. I don't know anything. But, okay, thank you. Thank you for watching, though. Hit that like button. Hit the notification bell. Turn on my post notifications. Share the video. Follow me on TikTok. I'm out. Peace.